Hi guys and gals, this is Big Moss with Drone U, and I'm here today to um, talk a little bit about the new um, Loom Cube. It's a new strobe, a new um, visibility strobe for three miles, three statute mile visibility on night operations that they uh, dropped last week. And uh, they were kind enough to send me a copy for me to test out, which we will do tonight. I've got a great place um, out near uh, where I live, which is um, almost perfect. It's literally 3.02 or 03 miles, depending on where I uh, set the cameras up from top of one area to the to the um, where I can see it from over a valley over Bear Creek Valley so it's a perfect place to test the kind of strobes um, that I use for my night operations. Now those of you who know me know I love LoomCube um, and they've actually used some of my imagery uh, in some of their marketing and some of their Instagram stuff so that's kind of nice but um, they sent me this to test out and that's what we're going to do like I mentioned tonight and uh, we're going to do it a couple different ways. We're going to go ahead and do its rapid strobe, its slow strobe, and its constant on. The way to turn on these things is you um, hold it down and for three seconds and it starts flashing. Obviously that's the quick flash. Um, I'll turn it this way so I don't go blind. Click it again and that's the so slow strobe. It's hard to say sometimes. That's the slow strobe. And again that's constant on. And again you turn it back and it goes back to that step again. So I'll turn it down, hold it for three seconds and it turns off. They also have the three or the two um, colored. They have the red and then they have the uh, green as well. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn that on so you can kind of see what it does. Whoops, I think I'll hold this end. There we go. And I do not have um, how long it lasts. I do not have the wrap, the uh, the length of the battery on it. I do not test it, that kind of stuff. Um, I don't read the literature first because um, I just like to test things right out of the box, get it charged up and test things. That way I need to know, I can see how easy it is to use, that kind of stuff. So that's the red right there. Um, another thing you're going to hear me talk about is, I'm, like I said, I'm going to have Todd with the strobes um, or with the strobe on top of one hill and I'll be on top of another hill. I'm going to have him turn on the big strobe. That's this thing here. This is a flashlight I carry in my car and it actually strobes too. And I'm using that to um, facilitate finding him. I know where he's going to be, but I want to make sure that we can do it with the, uh, that you all can see the strobe going off in the both cameras that I'm going to have set up and I'll explain the setup once I get out there tonight. So that's where we're at right now. I'll take a peek uh, tonight. I'll uh, shoot stuff that we're going to do and then uh, tomorrow I will go ahead and do a review. And apologize for the birds in the background here. I like doing views out of my back porch because it's a nice day here in Denver and uh, hopefully they won't be quite so noisy when I do my review. That's it for now and uh, we'll see you here in just a bit. Here I am at my favorite place to test my strobes. Um, as you know, in order to fly at night, you have to have three mile strobes, or three statute mile strobes is the technical uh, term. But I've got my Lumix, my GH5S here, I've got my Nikon D600 here. This I've got the 90 millimeter lens on, or the 45 is technically, you know, it, it, it makes it a 90 millimeter basically. And over here, I've got the uh, 200 plus the 1.7, so it's a 340. This one's a little closer to what your eye will see. Um, it's a little bit tighter, but you can still see it's going to work out real well for us. And this I just want to get nice and tight so we can see exactly um, what it's seen if we can get in a little bit tighter. So I've got um, my VO on one of the mountains on the mountain over there. Um, you'll be able to see it here in just a little while. Um, and once we get that started, uh, we'll go ahead and show you what it looks like on the uh, individual cameras. We're going to be testing just the white. We're going to be testing with the red filter on it and we're going to be testing it with a green filter on it. We're going to be testing it both as um, you know the, the, the rapid flash, what they call the slow flash, um, what LoomCube calls, and then the steady on. And we're also at the end I'm going to have um, Todd go ahead and point the strobe up 45 degrees to kind of give you an idea uh, about what it'll look like. Let's say someone's flying over and you're you know they're up high and you're down low at about a 45 degree angle um, which when they should be able to pick it up if they can pick it up or not. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, sun is set. We're going to wait about another 10 or 15 minutes and uh, go ahead and get started on this. Uh, we want to make sure it's about a half hour after sunset, which is why we're going to wait till 9.03. Sunset's today at 8.32 here in wonderful Denver, Colorado. We've got the beautiful mountains behind us, noisy 470 or noisy Hampton Avenue right behind us. Uh, but hopefully that won't cause too much of a distraction. So here in just a little while, we'll go ahead and start the test and you'll be able to see what we've done. Um, I've already tested it once, these will, these will pass, but these will give you a little bit better idea. Hello. Hey there, we are ready to start this thing. Are you ready? I'm ready. 
are you ready? I am ready. Okay, what we're going to do first is go ahead and turn on the big red strobe so I know where you are, so we can get a good look at it in camera. Okay, here we go. Okay, I see you there, and I see you that camera, and I see you in that camera. Awesome, go ahead and turn that off. Give me the uh, loom cube strobe. Okay. Just white facing right at me. Okay, is that you on? I see you on. I see it going there. Good, let me see in the other camera. Perfect. Now go ahead and do it again so it's, it's slow strobing. Okay, I see it slow strobing now. Now turn it on solid. And it definitely turned on solid there. Cool, okay, go ahead and put it back on fast flashing. So one more touch. Cool, now go ahead and put it 45 degrees up. And let me know when it's there. It's there. It's there. Boy, I cannot see it there. I can see it there, though. Oh, there we go. No, I'm seeing it. Okay, you're getting a lightning show behind you, too. You're going to have to yeah, compete with that. <laughs> um, and I'm standing on top of a hill. This ought to be fun. Okay, good. Now go ahead and let me see the red strobe first. And okay. we'll just do the fast strobe with that. So let yep, me know when it's on. You, that's where you're getting right now. Okay. Well, I can barely see it with the naked eye. Um, I can see it with the Nikon. I'm not too sure about the other one. We'll have to look at it once we get to the uh, back to the office. Okay, go ahead and turn that off and let me see the green one. It's on. It is on. Oh, I see it. Wow, that's actually a bit pretty visible and I can even see that it's green, which surprises me. And I can see it in that camera. And I can definitely see it in the other camera and it's definitely green. Um, well, that's cool. Now go ahead and turn that off and let me see the big strobe again just so I'll have a good reference point for the end. And that's a definitely, that's a bright strobe. I wish we could have strobes like that on our drones. <laughs> Alright, thank you sir. Appreciate it. And I will talk to you in the morning. Sounds good. Alright, later. Bye. Bye. So what can we take away from what we tested last night? Um, one, hey, you know, the strobe works. It's definitely a three statute mile strobe. Um, no problem at all. We could see it easily, um, as you all could too in the um you know in this in the uh, videos we had and also by eye by sight i could easily see it little question um, with the red strobe i couldn't quite see it up at 45 degrees i couldn't quite see it um, but i like it it's a very good strobe um, it's made by loom cube obviously it's a uh, good product loom cube does make a very nice product love their stuff um, but uh i see no problem with having it as a three statute mouse strobe now if you want to use it with the red and green um, that's slightly problematic in that it does cut the uh, cut the output quite a bit. So um, I would hesitate using the red and green as a three statute mile strobe. It definitely satisfies the letter of the law, but probably not so much the spirit of the law of the rule uh, because it's just not bright enough. They're probably really great for nav if you need a navigation strobe. If you want to put a red one or a green one on one side or on the back or front or whatever of the strobe of the uh, drone, it's probably a good good thing for that. So go ahead and I would do that. One thing I'm not real a big fan of is how it turns on and off. It's super simple. I mean, obviously, you just hold it down, three seconds, boom, it's on. Um, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing in that it's easy to turn on and off. It's a bad thing in that if you set this in your flight bag or if you set this in your grip kit or whatever you're using to carry your strobe or even your pocket, um, carrying your strobe onto your set or onto, onto location, it could accidentally turn on. So you could actually be, you know, you show up on site with a dead strobe. You know, you should carry stuff with you to go ahead and recharge them anyway. That's probably one of the things that's in your SOP for night flights, but um, you should probably do that anyway. You should always have an extra strobe as well. Um, you should never go someplace with just one strobe for a night, uh, night flight or night operation. Uh, do like it, it's um, a good strobe. And if you're in the market, if you're just getting your 2.9, uh, or you've had it for a while and you're looking to upgrade, update your, update your strobes, uh, let's say you're using the old Arc 2s or even the single um, single Flytrons, which are good strobes. They do, as, as you've noticed in some of our past tests, they do pass the three statute mile test. But the brighter you can be um, without, dis without disturbing your set, obviously if you're, in a, if you're in a tight set, different ball of wax altogether, but the tighter you can be 
uh, the brighter you can be, sorry, um, in, in, out there in the real world situations, the better off you're going to be, the safer you're going to be, the safer uh, the NAS is going to be. And that's pretty much the key to what we're trying to do anyway. We want to get out there, we want to fly safe, we want to keep other people safe, and we want to do our jobs to the best of our ability. So that's it. Again, Vic Moss with Drone U. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, answer below and um, let us know what you think. We're out here for you guys, and you can check us out at thedroneu.com. Y'all fly safe. Bye-bye.